recently caught up to Toku Revengers manga, and let me tell you, ooh, if you thought season one was nice, just know season two, whenever we get in and it gets announced, just know it's going to be crazy. Because, bro, I've read roughly from chapter 74, because that's roughly where the anime ends, and then, like, it picks up, that's where roughly it's at, all the way to 228, which is the most recent chapter, but a new chapter, I think, is coming out Monday or whatever. So, I read all that, that's roughly around, I think, 150. 54 chapters don't quote me on that i think that is i'm not positive it's somewhere around there but yeah i read all that and boy let me tell you i made a video earlier this year talking about tokyo avenger when it came about time travel and stuff like that there's so many questions i have again but so much happened all the only just know there's gonna be hella it's not gonna be like a whole bunch of spoilers but just know if you've not seen the anime or read the manga just know spoiler warning spoiler warning i'm trying i'm gonna try not to spoil anything like it's gonna be like little spoilers so i'm probably not gonna mention like no new names from like the manga just in case somebody has watched the anime who watches all this because i don't want to spoiler spoiler anybody because like i'm not gonna say nothing crazy i'm only gonna be talking about takamichi and maybe like other characters but briefly little stuff like briefly and all that just a little things like nothing serious just little brief things and all that so let's get into it. So all I got to say is Takamichi is up there with Subaru as having some of the worst like time travel or whatever luck thing ever. Like I would try to say he's worse than Subaru, but at the same time, Subaru got ate alive by rabbits and shit and Subaru gets killed like so fucking much where Takamichi just mainly has to deal with um, mental problems, like mental health problems, like mental strain shit like that because of like some of the stuff that happens because like what he does where Subaru gets killed, ate, like Subaru dies way too much, but like I'll say Subaru's up here, I'd say Takamichi's up there because I would say that mental health is a problem too, like mental health, his mental health for what happens like it's very huge, I would say that is, but let's get into it there's still like a lot of like stuff i want answered so anybody that's still watching just know i'm about to spoil or something like big time spoiler so i want to know like hopefully because i know we're in the final arc but i want to like explain in detail like after this final arc and like he goes back to the future if he does or whatever happens i want to know why takamichi has the power that he does why he has foresight too because i think that is that's foresight where you can like see what's about to happen in the future i want to know like why he has those and does he have any other powers and is is and is there actually somebody else that's also like time leaping like how he is because you know with the kasaki incident he thought kasaki was but it turned out he wasn't so like that's very interesting like i wonder is there somebody else setting shit up also i want to know about like the dark urge like super detailed even though i know there's videos that people have put out talking about it but i want to know like that, like i want to know like does that have anything to do with it and i want to know like why takamichi was the one that was chosen like if that happens because i mean in season one it doesn't really explain like i just need like detailed i just want something i wonder what like what's gonna happen with that because I, I am curious like the whole time child thing i hope that goes into detail and also takamichi is very interesting because like honestly bro i would have said fuck mikey because like technically he got he basically got the best timeline like in my opinion, it was the best timeline he got. Just the only thing was that Mikey was still living the life he was, but everybody that he wanted to live was alive, basically, give or take. But I have a lot of like opinions where I think it's going. I do think I I think it could happen, but I don't think it's going to, because like in this final arc where we're at, I like while I was reading the whole time, I was thinking like, oh, are we gonna get like an arc where Takamichi goes all the way back? like all the way like back back and saves mikey's brother like i was wondering like is that gonna happen then like that sets up and that changes the course of the whole thing because like if his brother because like it really is crazy if car if kazutoro or however you say his name if he doesn't kill mikey's brother there's so much shit that like gets fixed like th like this like reminds me of like um there's some other anime where like we're oh yeah this reminds me of like obito like if obito doesn't do what he does or like if madra if obito doesn't like kill all that or K kakashi doesn't kill rin shit like that it reminds me of shit like that where like one person died and it set up the whole series like basically that's what mikey's brother dying basically reminds me of like in naruto with obito and that when like obito like does the nine tails and mean to all them dies it sets up the whole series that's what basically what this reminds me of where it's like if you, if kazuto doesn't kill mikey's brother then this whole series probably does not happen because mikey's brother was probably the main person that like set up everything and would have been to stop everything that happened in this series like in my opinion because like he is because like as you read the manga if you especially if you're still here and you read the manga you learn that like yeah mikey's brother is the is the one that could have like stopped so much stuff that's happening there probably would have been one big war like how we have now in this final arc because one of the characters came from somewhere else not gonna say who it is but like that mikey's brother is the main re one that like it was like everything that's happened in all them arcs leading up especially like the black dragon arc and stuff later on all that it was like oh yeah it was like yeah mikey's brother was the one for all this so yeah that happens 
that's pretty interesting like i just think of that like because that is one thing that i was just thinking about like with that because i'm like wow but i do like i don't think that's gonna happen because like in my opinion it doesn't like unless takamichi somehow gets um a power like he did he figures out how his powers work and then he does go back and do that but i see that highly unlikely i am curious if he's ever going to touch mikey or if he i am curious like how he's going to save mikey the new chapter like i said comes out soon i wonder how like how many chapters i want this i feel like this could go to chapter 300 with this final arc because i feel like there's so much stuff that has to be has to be answered like so much bro like i like i said i need a full i need like a full long ass multiple chapters just explain his powers explain why he was chosen and everything i need all that explained but yeah, the arcs so far have been fire. They've been fire. All the crazy stuff has happened. Hey, all I gotta say is shout out to Truck Coon. Hey, bro. Bro. Hey, anybody that said, bro, that Kasaki shit was so fucking funny, bro. When Takamichi hit that nigga, the art, I was rolling, bro. Cause like, you know, like if you saw the art, bro, that shit was drawn amazingly. And like, you can see that nigga got his shit clapped. I was like, damn. Like Takamichi hit that nigga hard as a bitch. And like his face was all fucked up. I was like, damn. But no, the truck, bro, the truck shit was wild, bro. It was very wild. I'm mad too. Cause like, it seemed like he was going to say something else to Takamichi. And that truck, truck coon came and smacked that nigga. And that nigga body was all crumbled up and fucked up and like what is cuz name Hami or whatever or Hami, i forgot exactly how you say his name it's the one big tall dude that has like the the little tattoo on here or, or that was like the one of the generals of um ragnarok or the, like the head person besides like the headless whatever yeah i was wondering like what was he like talking because it seemed like there's like unless like the like the site i was reading the manga on missed some like pages or something but i was wondering because like he was talking about kasaki and like saying who he really was so i was wondering like i was wondering like oh is he really a time leap or two that's why i was wondering but i guess not like the kasaki thing like like once you find out like really like why he did what he did i'm like oh i'm like oh hell no this motherfucking simp this nigga did all this to be a fucking simp because a bitch did not want you that's that's what i was feeling this from i was like oh hell no nah. like when i read that shit i was like hell no nah. but that shit was funny as a bitch i mean he got what he deserved we'll see what happens like in the in this timeline we're at now because there are some fire ass characters in it right now some fire ones i like i said i do hate kasaki because the way he killed emma i was like motherfucker i was like Shh, uh like mm. i hated that shit like right there i'm like man but he got what he deserved kasaki got what he deserved now we move on to some of like the other ones like mikey's quote unquote like it would have been like his adopted brother kind of like that him he was their art thing was interesting but then it was like eh it's like because i mean that's still in the kasaki thing i'm like and eh, you should have not followed kasaki you could have done more like he should have like at least went to his family and all that but i mean there's a reason why but let's get into this final arc we're at right now i'll talk a little like i said i'm not trying to like go into no super detail about everything because just in case somebody some reason is still watching i want to spoil it too much and like i don't feel like getting all the names because there's so many different there's so many damn names in this series right now but this final arc is very interesting because like it's just like crazy like how there's already three gangs and you have the three goddess the three gods or whatever they're called like of the whole delinquents and all that and you have the crew mikey's running you have the dude that's from south america and then you have the girl it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens because i mean in the next chapter it should be the girl plus versus like the dude from um south america and that's gonna be very interesting because that dude from south america is like a crazy nigga that nigga is like crazy crazy so i'm interested to see like how this arc is gonna end and then because i mean it's the final big arc and then maybe we'll see if we get like a little arc that explains stuff it's very but like i'm not sure where it's gonna go like i think some people are gonna get fucked up like like a certain character if like this is the one reason i was like damn takamichi you did not have to go back in the past like this like bro you did not need to because because Draken died, RIP. Yes, Draken died, and I was like, oh, fuck. Or, I mean, we don't know if he died, but it basically seems like because he did go into the... I mean, didn't he... Yeah, never mind, he did die. The Yeah, the ambulance, they told him that he died. Never mind, my bad. But I'm like, shit. That's why I do think that Takamichi's... That was another reason why I feel like Takamichi is going to go back in time is because Draken died, and I feel like somehow he's going to get it towards the end of this series. He's going to find out what Mikey's problem was and all that, and then I think he's going to go even further back in the past or some shit like that. We'll see. And, like, it is interesting that, like, Mikey could tell that Takamichi was in the past. Like, it's very interesting. I wonder, like, I wonder, like, if Mikey somehow, like, has a connection with his power, too. Because that is very interesting to think about. Because, like, there's so many questions I want answered. But, yeah, I caught up to the anime. Let me know. I mean, to the manga, my bad. Let me know if you've read the manga. Let me know if you watched the anime. Let me know how you feel about Tokyo Revengers. So far, I've been enjoying this shit. Like, it's been pretty good. Like, I binged that shit. I finally said fuck Because, like, when I first got done with the anime i read like a few chapters and then like i took a break and i recently like last week caught up caught up and i was like sheesh i was like shit that shit is so 
amazing, bro. I fuck with that shit heavily. Like I said, there's a lot of fucking questions I want answered, but it should hopefully get answered in the future. If not, I'm be mad, and then I'm be like, damn, I'm feel very disappointed they don't get answered. But yeah, let me know in the comments how you feel about Tokyo Avenger and all that. If you enjoyed, you can like. If you didn't, you can dislike. Subscribe if you really enjoyed, it, and subscribe if you're new, cause like we're trying to grow the channel and all that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.